All right, so welcome back to P Academy. So um, in this video, I want to just recreate the isometric drawing that you are seeing on the screen. So, so let's get started. I've drawn my horizontal line. So um, actually, I've covered a lot on isometric projection. Um, I intend to come to do the orthographic projection of this drawing, so that's why I just want to do the isometric projection. So, so if you are new here, please consider subscribing to uh, to the channel P Academy. All right, so I haven't drawn this line. Then let me just draw my my vertical line. So it's meant to be a faint line, but if I should make it too faint, you might not see it. And um, okay, so let me use. So this to get my 30 degrees to the right and then to the left. And then from the scale or the dimension being given, so this side is um, 45 mm, which is 4.5. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4.5. So it has an height of 20 mm, which is 2 cm. So let me take note of that. So, so this is acting as um, as my T square. So, And then um, the total length for, for this should be 65, okay? Am I correct? 10, 5, okay, no. 50 plus 15 plus another 5. Okay. So this is 15. So 15 plus uh, 50, that's um, 65, it should be 60. So let me measure that. So personally, I can just take my reading from any, uh, from, uh, any part on the, on the ruler. So I can just start from 3, like I want to start here. So basically, uh, I don't really place it on the zero points to start my reading. So I'm taking measuring um 60 so there will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 right here so all these things are, are meant to be faint lines but if i should make it faint you might not see them so so let's just continue like that. So from this point of intersection, straight up. And then um, here it has a total length of uh, 50, 60, 75. 
So from starting from here, seventy five will be on ten point five. Which is right there. Okay, and that has a total light of um, that is a total of forty five one two three four. Right, so just in case you are wondering why I'm not taking time to explain some of these things and where I'm picking the points, I'm not explaining it too much. It's like I said at the beginning of this video, I've covered um, isometric projection. I've covered it extensively on this channel, so. If you need a um, more basic understanding on isometric projection, you might just need to to watch them. I cover it extensively. Yeah. So this should be giving us to okay. So this should be giving us one point five, yeah, uh, which is accurate. So, so that's one thing about um, isometric projection. If your lines are parallel enough, they are correct enough, the uh, to give you the uh, the correct length that should give you exactly. Okay. So let's see what else. So let me just ten centimeter away. So you can see that's giving us um, 25 just like what we need so um, so this is five Okay, so okay.
Okay, so let's do this part here. The dimension is not actually given here. But let's just make it five. That has a point for five. This is 1.5, which is right here, and then this is a um, thing which is right there. So, all the things being equal, all, all these lines I've been drawing since the beginning of this video, they, are all sh they should be faint lines. So, once you are done with this, then you can bring out the real. Um, the real shape itself so from here to here is 45 and we have um, the line that cuts across to this point so that's nine centimeter. I think I've calculated it before so that will be um, 45 minus 9 and that will give us uh, 36 and 36 divided by 2 that will give us 18 so what you can just do is we we'll measure it in from both ends. So it's in is um this is 15, 16, 17, 18. And then from here this is um 18. That should be just one. All right, let me introduce my razor for the first time. So we don't need this line. So it's nine zero point nine um centimeter away. So somewhere there. So let's also measure nine. So which is right here. I think I'm done. So I can just join this to this. Basically I'm done. I just need to trace out the main part of the drawing. So, Alright, so basically this is what you'll be having. Um, you'll just be able to reproduce the drawing on your on the screen right now. So the next thing I want to just do is to draw the uh, first angle projection of this particular drawing. So if you still don't understand isometric projection, uh, like I said earlier, just go back to the channel. I mean, the place on isometric projection, you see, uh, start from the introduction, 
of isometric projection. I've covered it extensively and the how to draw isometric circle, how to draw non-isometric that is in um, that you there are some non-isometric lines that you find isometric projection, how to go about them. Okay, an example is this line now. For example, this particular line is not at 30 degrees exactly. So the drawings like that you come across this line can be very confusing. This line is not at 30 degrees. So how do you go about them? So I've covered all of those. So that's why I didn't really explain too much why doing this thing. So now let's just go to the isometric projection of this. So I'll be doing that in another video. So if you find value in this, please give it a thumbs up. And then I'll leave a link also to that isometric, uh, I mean to the uh, orthographic projection, which is the first angle projection of this, of this isometric view in the description. All right, so thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, please click on that subscribe button. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you all in another video, in the next one rather. So let's, let's convert this to the isometric view.